You're probably watching this video because you or a loved one has diabetes. Diabetes is a condition in which your glucose metabolism is impaired and you have higher glucose levels in your blood than average. It can have three main types. Type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is also called insulin dependent diabetes or juvenile onset diabetes, which often begins in childhood. It's an autoimmune condition caused by the body attacking its own pancreas with antibodies. When that happens, the damaged pancreas stops making insulin, a hormone needed to allow sugar or glucose to enter cells and produce energy. Despite active research, type 1 diabetes has no cure. Of course, people that have it lead full and happy lives and manage the condition with insulin, medication, and healthy lifestyle. Type 2 Diabetes Type 2 diabetes, also called non-insulin dependent diabetes, is a chronic condition that affects how the body metabolizes sugar, glucose, an essential source of fuel for the body. If you have type 2 diabetes, your body either resists the effects of insulin or fails to produce enough to maintain normal glucose levels. It can be managed by following a healthy lifestyle. Gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes is a condition triggered by pregnancy and is often diagnosed in middle or late pregnancy. In order to protect the baby's growth and development, gestational diabetes has to be controlled. According to the National Institute of Health, the reported rate of gestational diabetes occurs in about 2 to 10 percent of pregnancies. Usually, it resolves itself after pregnancy, but it puts a mother at risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. It can happen anywhere between two weeks after delivering the baby or even months or years later. Type 2 diabetes can be preceded by prediabetes, a condition in which you suffer from higher blood sugar levels but haven't fully developed the condition. Type 2 diabetes is far more common than type 1. More than 90% of adults are diagnosed with diabetes have type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is caused by variable levels of insulin resistance and insulin deficiency. In other words, your body either isn't producing enough insulin or your body isn't responding well to the insulin produced, or both are happening simultaneously. Either way, the result's the same. You have elevated levels of glucose in your blood. The symptoms of type 2 diabetes are similar to type 1 diabetes, which are feeling the need to pee more often than the average, feeling excessive thirst, blurred vision, and weight loss. The risk factors for type 2 diabetes are unhealthy lifestyle and habits, such as overeating, lack of exercise, or smoking. You're also at a higher risk of developing this condition if you have a family history of diabetes. If you're diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, your doctor will recommend an appropriate treatment regime for you. For example, your doctor might advise you practice healthier habits without ever prescribing you any medication. Most of the time, the two primary goals for managing type 2 diabetes are 1. Weight loss. Obesity is both one of the risk factors and causes of type 2 diabetes. Managing diabetes starts with working toward reaching a healthy weight. 2. Stable blood glucose levels. A combination of healthy diet, exercising, and an overall healthier lifestyle will help to balance it out. Alternatively, your doctor might decide to put you on any diabetic medication such as metformin. Metformin is a drug that decreases glucose output from your liver and increases glucose uptake into your body tissues. This reduces the glucose levels in your blood. Metformin is not suitable for people with kidney disease. Another common drug that your doctor might prescribe is insulin. Insulin is a hormone that helps your body store up glucose, thus reducing glucose levels in your blood. In diabetes, this hormone is either deficient or your body isn't responding well to it. Insulin is a drug which is injected subcutaneously, meaning it's injected into the fat layer under your skin. This is different than an intravenous injection, which is an injection into a vein. 
The typical parts of your body that insulin can be injected to are your arm, abdomen, or thigh. There are other drugs that your doctor might prescribe to you to control your diabetes. Often your doctor is guided by how well your body responds to certain treatments. This is determined by the close monitoring of your blood glucose levels, whether it stays up or goes down. The goal is always to bring your blood glucose levels down to the normal range. This is because uncontrolled diabetes can lead to serious health complications, such as eye disease, heart disease, kidney disease, and nerve damage. That's why you need to be serious about controlling your blood glucose levels.